Namaskar. I am Dr. Murali Manohar. Welcome to Ayurveda Samhita. In this program, you are going to learn about an important topic and some powerful ancient Ayurvedic secrets. These can change your entire life forever. Bed wetting, children who can control their bladders during the day, but who have never been dry at night for at least a six month period, have what is known medically as primary nocturnal inertis, the most common form of bed wetting, in Ayurveda, this condition is termed as Sayamutra. Wetting the bed is not only uncomfortable, but also embarrassing, especially for a child older than three years. Not only is there a social stigma attached to bedwetting, it causes great inconvenience due to the extra laundry that must be washed and most importantly, bedwetting interrupts sleeping patterns and causes scores of problems associated with sleep deprivation. Three out of four toddlers stay dry all night by age four. By five years, one in five still wets the bed and at six, the numbers drop to one in ten, just about all. Bedwetting stops by the time children reach puberty. Many parents feel that their children's bedwetting is a result of a defect in their parenting. Previously, it was believed that children, who wet their beds, had psychological problems. Today, it is suspected that bedwetting is caused by slow development of the nerves that control the bladder. Children with bedwetting need to urinate at night. Initially, babies urinate round the clock then most make the transition to urinating during the waking hours only. Causes When an adult's bladder is full at night, there is a signal that goes from the bladder, through the nervous system, up to the brain. This alerts our reticular activating system, which awakens us. We then use the toilet. This signaling mechanism comes into play sometime in middle childhood. If this mechanism fails, then the bedwetting results. The major reasons for bedwetting are, an imbalance of bladder muscles, relatively small bladders to hold the normal quantity of urine. If more quantity of urine is produced due to drinking alcohol-rich cool drinks, diuretic fluids or due to chronic diseases like diabetes or hormonal imbalance. Secondary nocturnal inuresis is the term used to describe the condition where nighttime bladder control is possible only for the first six months and then bedwetting begins again. This may be due to some physical problem like urinary tract infection or the onset of a disease such as diabetes, or some emotional stress like starting a new term in school or something as simple as a change in sleeping habits. If your grown-up child slept straight through the night, but now what's the bed? The problem is more likely related to recently increased urine production. It may also be due to difficulty in waking up from stress, or low-level sleep deprivation, guidelines and Ayurvedic remedies. Children do not wet bed intentionally. They have no control over the situation. Do not make them feel guilty by getting angry or acting disgusted. Try to be supportive and understanding. Find out whether the child is getting enough sleep. A correct sleeping schedule will make it easier to wake up when the bladder is full. The bowels should be kept clear so that threadworms do not trouble at night. They are one of the important causes of bedwetting. Items like potato, green gram, chocolates, tea, coffee and spicy items that produce gas should be restricted. Liquid food should not be taken for a few hours before bedtime. The child should be made to empty the bladder before going to bed. Set an alarm clock two to three hours after he falls asleep so that he or she can be awakened to go to the bathroom. Bladder stretching exercises help a lot to combat the situation. In grown-up children, bedwetting is due to heightened levels of stress caused due to death of a friend or family member, parental divorce, romantic breakup, etc. Stress can be dealt with by exercise, massage, meditation, yoga, 
relaxation techniques, etc. The important thing is to learn to be in touch with emotions and take positive actions before the stress expresses itself through bedwetting. Fry 1 teaspoonful coriander seeds in a pan until brown. Mix in 1 teaspoonful each of pomegranate flowers, sesame seeds and babble gum and grind the mixture into a very fine powder. Add crystal sugar to the powder and give 1 teaspoonful at bedtime. Sarshapa in powder form taken along with half cup of milk before going to bed, gives good results. Ayurvedic remedies to treat bedwetting aim at strengthening the nervous system and the urinary tract. The medicines that are commonly used are Visha Tinduka Vati, Shilajit Wani Vati, Chandra Prabha Vati, etc. Patent medicines like NEO, Cherok, and Mentat, Himalaya, give good results. Ayurvedic treatment plan. Please keep in mind that these are all common home remedies and first aid measures. If the problem continues, even after using these remedies, then you need to come for a personal examination and Ayurvedic body type evaluation. In Ayurveda, there are excellent and powerful medicines for this condition. The best suitable drugs are selected basing on your individual body type and prescribed along with personalized diet and lifestyle modifications. So, hope you have enjoyed this topic and enlightened. In the next program, we will meet with another interesting and important topic. Satam Jeeva Sarado Vardhamanaha Satam Hemantan Satam Vasantan Live over 100 years old with excellent health and complete happiness. Subham Dr. Chirumamila Murali Manohar, MD Ayurvedam, Raksha Ayurvedic Center, Sardi Studios Road, Opposite State Home, Amir Pet, Hyderabad, 73. Phone 9177445454.